place that I'm staying at. I'm FaceTiming my mom right now. So she's going to sit here and watch me talk to y'all. But I finally settled in. Got my stuff all kind of organized. Yeah, that plane ride knocked me out. Like, my layover was in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I flew from Oklahoma City. My layover was eight hours. So I ended up, like, exploring the city a little bit. And um, the night before my flight, I didn't get any sleep because I was up doing my nails and finished packing. And just, like, I, I couldn't go to sleep. So as soon as the plane took off, literally barely took off on the, ro the road, I knocked out. Like, Mom, I literally knocked out before they could even get in the air. The, the lady that was sat next to me, she she said, uh, I was just lights out. She's Cause they came around with dinner. I didn't even eat dinner. I, I was like dead asleep. Cause I, I was so exhausted. But the flight, I forgot to tell you. So um, the flight wasn't bad at all. I was in the middle. So that's four seats. Two seats weren't taken. It wasn't a fully booked flight. But me and the lady that I was sat next to, we both were like, yes, like more room. So instead of me sitting up the whole flight, I literally was laying down like it was a bed. That's why I knocked out. I had the covers over my head. It was it was a good flight. But I flew with Delta this time, guys. I usually fly with American Airlines. And I got to say, I prefer American Airlines way more. Delta is just, eh. It, it definitely told me why it was cheaper. It's a lot cheaper. The ticket was a lot cheaper than American Airlines. So, but like my mom says, at least they took you there. At least they're serving you food. I'm like, you're right. I made it to London in one piece. So, one piece. <laughs> so excited to be back. Uh, I love this city so much. It's one of my favorites. Actually, it is my number one favorite. But I'm going to explore the city. I'm going to get something to eat and really just go with the flow. I don't have anything planned. The only thing that I do want planned is going to a spa because the best spas that I've been to have been here in England. Um, in, in Center Parks, if you guys know what that is. I haven't been to any like apart from Center Parks. Uh, but just a spa sounds so nice right now. A steam room, a sauna room, a pool, like especially with the jet lag, like I would definitely fall asleep again. <laughs> I'm staying in an Airbnb and it's literally in the best location. That's what the review said. So I'm gonna walk out and we're gonna see how good of a location it is. It's near everything apparently, but here's my outfit. It's all black with some white shoes. So I just have um, on this two piece like workout set with uh, this like black trench coat looking jacket and then white shoes. My little purse. I stepped out of my Airbnb. I just wanted to show you the street that I'm on. It's so pretty. Look at all the white buildings. And it's such good weather today too. I really thought it was going to be cold. Well, to me, it is still kind of cold because back at home it's like in the 80s, 90s, which is like 40 Celsius. But over here it's um. 17 Celsius. One thing about London is that they always have construction going on. Everywhere. You know, you're in England when you see the red buses. Look at how pretty the buildings are, guys. So I came past this. I told myself I wanted to watch a live show. So I think I'm gonna watch this on one of the nights I'm here. I'm guessing it's, um, what is that movie called? Is it Wizard of Oz? Yeah. But they're calling it Wicked, I think. And I was right. The untold story of the witches of all. I think that'll be so good. Look at that building, guys. Look how tall it is. That's so pretty. And I hear someone on the microphone. So I think we're getting close to uh, the people interacting with the crowd. You could say the tourists. <laughs> 
Alright, so the place that I was going to eat at was um, Wagon Blue. And I can't find it. But it said on the Apple Maps that it's on that corner, but it's named after something else. So I don't think it's like legit the Wagon Mama that I'm trying to eat at. I think it's like one of those where it's like inside of a different restaurant. Does that make sense? Anyways, instead of finding Wagamama, I found a Zara right down there. <laughs> Food or Zara? Hmm. There's like a few restaurants in here. I think there's one that's called ZZ I've been wanting to eat there. So I might just try that place out. I didn't want Italian, but that's fine. Guys, I'm so dumb. I literally see the sign for Wagamama. It's black right in front of me. And I didn't realize it that it was in front of me until I stopped recording. Can I see it? It's right next to the Five Guys sign, right there. It's all the way up there. They're really making me work for this. Found it. Oh, it's so beautiful up here. And they have a little area where people are sitting and drinking their drink. Look at that. So I got as one of the appetizers, um, chili squid. And it comes with this sauce that they make. Super good. And I'm also gonna get a drink. It looks so good, I put it aside. So this one is Thai chili margarita. Guys, I just got done with Wagamama's and I was um, walking to Big Ben and I decided that I would stop at Zara because it's on the way there. And they have a lot of cute stuff. The fall collection is out and I have this trench coat on and it's super cute. So right now I have the, the brown color on. Looks cute with my fit already, but I feel like you can style this in many ways. And then it also comes in this green color. Super cute. I think I have an extra small one. An extra small or small. Either size looks good. I also saw these loafers. Super cute. I would probably get the black ones just because they look a little more expensive, but the brown ones are really nice. Zara's um, shoes are really made well. I have a lot of shoes from them and they hold up really nicely. I don't know where I'm at. I just know I'm near Big Ben and the London Eye. Big Ben is so pretty. I've never been near this area, but there's like this huge park that everyone is sitting at right now. And then the London Eye, I don't know if you can see it, like right there, that little peeking right there. So, I'm probably gonna sit down right over there, maybe get an ice cream, I don't know yet. I've been eating a lot of sugar, so I'm trying to cut back. The last time I was here, Big Ben um, was getting, what is it called, renovated? He had like, <laughs> I said he, uh, it had like, I don't know what it's called, scaffolds. <laughs> Don't take my word. But it had just like the construction work all over it. But now I've got to see it like this. It's my first time seeing it like this. So it's new for me. It's beautiful. It looks bigger. It's gorgeous. like two or three hours but you can obviously tell that everybody's getting off of work right now because traffic is really busy but I think that's it for today I'm just gonna go back to the Airbnb and call it a night it is now eight o'clock and I just woke up and took a shower I did not mean to fall asleep but when I got back I couldn't help it something in my body just made me go 
but I still have it in me. I still feel pretty tired. Um, but I wanted to show you guys a few things that I got from Tesco. Got some melon, kiwi, and strawberry. Mango. Whisper. So I knew I wanted to get some of my um, favorite UK candies. And what's so weird to me is that Whisper is not one of my favorites, but um, I was craving just plain chocolate. So I picked this one. I was actually looking for flake, but I couldn't find it, so that'll do. Coated peanuts. The deepest thing to ever exist in this flavor. Thai sweet chili. This stuff is amazing. Had to get my hands on these for sure. I still can't believe that I'm in London. <laughs> Woke up super late, according to me. 10.27 a.m. Which is 4 in the morning in America, where I'm at, at home. Uh, but it's really good weather today, guys. Look at that. Super pretty. So, I'm gonna get up and get ready for the day. I'm really hungry. Uh, I'll probably get some English breakfast from, like, a pub nearby. But let's get this day started. I'm just wearing some blue shorts, my white shoes, and, um, a striped top from Ralph Lauren. That's my fit for today. And it's actually colder today than it was yesterday. But I didn't want to wear my black leggings from yesterday because I can't, I can't do it. I gotta wash it. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. And speaking of that, I'm gonna go shopping today, get some more long pants because I didn't pack enough. Um, and check out Chinatown, go see London Eye again, and see the London Bridge. Um, yeah, I just love seeing the, the tourist attractions again. They're just so pretty. But yes, let's go back out to the city. All right guys, I'm in Chinatown. The weather is really good today. The sun is really out. I'm gonna show you just a little bit of it. This is my second time being here. I'm trying to look for some food, but I'm not sure what I want to eat yet. I've already looked at everything and everything's like 17 pounds. It's really busy today. I don't know if it's because the weather's good or we're getting closer to the weekend, but let me just show you guys around. Chinatown is really huge, so there's that side over there. And then the entrance, you can literally enter anywhere, to be honest. And then you come down here. Look at how beautiful. It's so pretty. And then on the sides, they have like bubble tea and all the restaurants and food and dessert places. Oh my gosh! I was gonna get a bubble tea, but I think I'll get that last because I consider that like a dessert. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to eat. I haven't ate anything at all today. I literally just ate an orange for breakfast. I say that this one it is absolutely fine, okay? But what is going to happen, I'm going to repeat myself, and this time, everybody in this moment just pretend to be emotionally invested with me, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, so my name is Chris. Chris is a circus performer. Chris, ready to begin the show? Woo! Absolutely terrific. So, first things first, let me explain. Look at this lovely park, guys. Or hey, there so is many. actually a... Uh, There's people eating. You like wine? I like it. You red, white, rosé? It is 3 in the morning and I'm so tired. But I didn't get much vlogging today. Because after Chinatown, I met some people and they wanted to hang out with me. So we ended up going to a few bars. Well, pubs. And it ended up being a really good time. I had so much fun. I did get a little bit tipsy but that's what some pints will do to you. Good morning guys, it is Thursday and I'm gonna have another fun day in London. Again, don't have any plans. I just know that I'm hungry and I need some more pants. So let's get that done. My outfits are not that interesting because it's cold and I did not pack a lot of winter stuff. I have on this sweatshirt that I just got yesterday. This London sweatshirt, super cute. Some nude leggings, white shoes of course. These have matched with everything. Dolce Vita, recommend them. They're super comfy. 
my feet have not hurt walking around everywhere in London, so go get you a pair. And this is the only jacket I brought, and it goes with everything, so, yep, and of course my little pack, so. Mm -hmm. Typical London weather, not surprised. So it very much is drizzling, and I don't have a coat to put on, but that's what most of the British do. They just walk in the, the rain. Some have umbrellas, some don't, so I'm going to be typical British and not wear anything. <laughs> I really didn't want to wear, uh, I didn't really want to show my London sweatshirt because I didn't want to look like a tourist, but hopefully I'm not seen as a tourist. While I'm walking to the Zara store, I'm going to tell you, the reason why I don't have a coat is because, hold on, it's because um, I dropped off my clothes at the dry cleaners. Because I thought while I'm out and about, I can get my clothes washed before I go on to my next destination. Um, and when I dropped it off, <laughs> not only did I get a major discount, because <laughs> the guy was going to charge me for the regular pricing, but he said, I'll just charge you um, half of it. I got half a discount and his number. <laughs> But I thought that was pretty funny. But I'm on the way to Zara right now. I'm just gonna have a look since I barely have any clothes on. I kind of want this covered. Um, I was gonna go for just some coffee, but I took a stop in this like salad place that I saw. I got a quinoa salad with some salmon and some still water and like a reusable bottle. It's super cute. It says London on it. So I'm almost done with my salad. I'm sat at a new place, as you guys can see. I'm sat outside, Joe and the juice. But I wanted to show you guys the view that I have sitting here. There's like no one sitting with me. I'm just by myself, which I don't care about. Cause I love being by myself and having um, quietness. Let me just show you my view. This building's right here. That's a pretty building right there. And then I'm just um, watching all these cars go by. like the same version but it's cropped and it's a little bit lighter. I don't know if you can tell the difference. This one's more white and then what I'm wearing is a little bit more brown. But I don't know what it is because they're super thick. It's literally the same. It's, that one is just cropped. And you know what's crazy? It's, it's the same price. So I'd be getting more of my money if I got this one than that one. And then there's the other one. You can to see the difference. This one looks more like a jacket. And this one looks more like a, just a shirt. The silhouette of this one. You can wear it unbuttoned. It's really nice. It's like, it pops out, which is what I kind of like. Another thing that I like about them is that they have the popper buttons. So you don't have to worry about like sticking in the shirt. You just pop it together. I like this one too. I can't decide. I can't decide, guys. I don't know which one. I have been walking for about like 30 minutes after I left Zara, just strolling. Felt really good. Um, I walked really slow too, because at first I was walking fast and then I thought, why am I walking so fast? Like, why am I rushing? Being in the city life does that to you, I guess. But I thought to myself, I need to just take in where I'm at. And I've been saying to myself several times during this trip, I can't believe I'm in London. Because <laughs> I really can't, I still can't. Um, but yeah, I just thought, I should just take it slow and go easy today. So that is exactly what I'm doing. I just got a bubble tea and I am looking at this pretty view of these um, buildings. I don't know what it is, but it's gorgeous. Um, well, just up here. The London Eye is right there in the corner. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I love white buildings. It just looks so crisp and clean. They got the golden um, details on the clock. This is beautiful. There's a lot more people out today. It was raining earlier. 
Um, but yeah, a bunch of the parks that I walked past, they were pretty full. My feet are kind of killing me. Not the shoes, my feet. So I decided that I wanted to go to Buckingham Palace. I haven't been there yet since we have a king now. And the sign says 11 minutes. And I was walking, well, I'm starting to walk, and I couldn't help but stop and look at um, all the pretty flowers that they have here. They're super colorful. Look how beautiful it is. Right in front of those buildings that I was just at like two minutes ago. Beautiful. Look at that. All the people sitting on a bench feeding the pigeons. It's so cute. <laughs> I made it. It's so pretty in person. The camera does not do it justice, but it's so pretty. There it is. So to take a break from walking. I sat on a bench in the park over there just by myself. Wasn't on my phone, didn't record. It was just so peaceful. I loved it a lot. I was gonna go to Piccadilly Circus or Chinatown again just to get something to eat or just to be like near some more stores. Um, but I think I'm gonna go to Oxford Street today. There's a lot of shopping that I'm gonna do. So yes, I'm waiting for my Uber right now and I will See you guys when I'm there. You, you got to let it go. You, you got to let it go. but it's super busy on Oxford Street. I went to probably about like three stores. I was gonna go to Selfridges, but it's like nine minute walk all the way down there. I don't know if I can be bothered to, like my feet are killing me. I don't think it's my shoes. It's definitely not my shoes. I've already said that, I think it's my feet. But um, maybe I should just take a break. I think I'm gonna get something to eat and then go back to shopping. But we will see after I get some food. The reason that my feet hurt is because Oxford Street is so long. It's like stores on each side. It's just a long stretch. Okay, so I was gonna get McDonald's, but I accidentally came into here because I thought it was McDonald's and it's a sushi place. So you just look through this and then you just pick whatever you want. It's like a bunch of sushi. I think this is a much healthier option, but I don't know if I'll make this or McDonald's. I'm craving just a nasty McDonald's. Plus, the McDonald's here is a little bit different compared to the McDonald's in America. Their menu is totally different, and I feel like it's much healthier. But it doesn't taste as good as the American one. So good. My Coke didn't come with any ice, though. And it's, like, right here, but I did get a Coke. I haven't drank one in so long, so. And this McDonald's is so busy, 
it was so hard to find a seat. I'll have to show you guys how busy it is. It's a two story one, so. Pretty cool. But I got a barbecue wrap, one of my favorites. I got a chicken mayo sandwich because I knew that wrap wasn't gonna fill me up. And then I got some fries and my Coke, but. This is gonna be so good. I just wanted to show you guys the barbecue wrap. This is one of my favorites off the British McDonald's menu. Just eating um, a McDonald's in England, <laughs> again, brings back so many memories for me. Like I'm just eating it and thinking about all the memories that I've had this drunk. <laughs> that's the only time I would have it. Or sometimes late at night, like when I'm craving a snack. But, it's just, it's good memories. <laughs> Why do I always have food on my lip when I'm recording? That means it's good, but it's just good memories. Nostalgic, you can say. Okay, I said I was gonna show McDonald's, but there's a lot of people and a lot of kids, and I didn't want to get them on camera, because I don't know how that their parents would react, but I want to show you guys that I went back and ordered again. I knew I was gonna get this at the end, because there's a very special person in my life where, um, we would have our McDonald's and we'd always end it with um, a frappe, specifically the caramel one. So, it's a little tradition. If I'm in England, I have to do it. So I, I got it, and um, yeah, it just brings back a lot of memories. It's like I have to do it. I don't have my tripod, so I'm like literally bending down right now, but I'm gonna put my straw in there. I haven't, have you guys noticed I haven't complained about my paper straws? If you guys have seen my old London vlogs, not London vlogs, if you've seen my old England vlogs, I always complain about the paper straws. Now I just suck it up, because <laughs> there's no way around it, but cheers. <laughs> So good, like always. So I had an hour break. I think it was an hour, maybe more than that, that I ate my McDonald's. And now that I've had my break, I don't think I wanna go back to shopping. I think I'm kinda of over it. I kinda of just wanna go back to the Airbnb, get my things packed, take a shower, and go to bed. Because I, I literally have had a hard time sleeping. Uh, I think my body clock is still in the American time. Um, but, yeah, I kind of just <laughs> need a little bit of rest. I've just been on the go, 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 go. So, I'm gonna get an Uber and get back to my place. You guys are probably tired of seeing like, me showing the view and stuff, but it just never gets old for me. I'm sat on this bench right here. I love people watching. Probably my favorite thing to do. haul for y'all since I went shopping today. I haven't shopped in person in so long. That's probably why I couldn't keep up. Yeah, my feet just weren't in it. Maybe if I had like different shoes, I don't know. But first item is what I'm wearing. As soon as I bought it, I put it on. The worker cut the tag off and everything. So it's, it's what I showed you guys in Zara. It's the long version with the slit on the side and the um, sleeves can open too. I left them open so they weren't like tight on me. And then I left um, two buttons unbuttoned at the top. Right there with my black bag across it. It was super cute all day today. I got a lot of glances at it. Then, <laughs> you guys are gonna be like really kidding. I got the other one. <laughs> I couldn't decide. This one just has the prettiest silhouette on it. Like if I left it unopened, like it just pops out like this. You see what I'm talking about? Again, with the sleeves unbuttoned. It's so cute. With my black bag in the front. It's just a really nice jacket. It's good quality too, so. Zara has the best quality, so I'm not complaining. Then I went to Primark because I always have to make a stop in there. I got this navy striped shirt, navy and white stripes, long sleeve. 
but it was just simple and basic. I'm going for more navy now, blacks and whites. My wardrobe's changing. And then I got the same thing, but in black and short sleeves, because it's just a cute little basic. And then my last piece is this cute sweater. I saw it on the mannequin. And this is Paris in the middle. Like this is so simple and basic. I thought um, about putting a white button up underneath, going for like that preppy look. Super cute. All right guys, I think I'm gonna end my London vlog right here. This cute little reusable water bottle. I had the best time here, I always do. This is my first time where I actually stayed fully in London. Um, it's just one of my favorite cities. It's beautiful, I love the people. Everything to do here is just different and I love it. It's second home to me. I just, it felt great coming back. What was so funny was that um, a lot of the locals here asked me if I lived here because they said I just don't give that touristy vibe. Um, even the, the Uber drivers were like, yeah, you seem like you know your stuff around here. <laughs> I was like, that's a compliment because I would love to live in London, but it's a little bit expensive or maybe I could make it work out. I just never looked into it, but the fact that they said that I fit just right in is just insane. They were like, you fit right in. Come to London. Move. <laughs> but let me stop talking. I need to start packing my things and getting them all together because tomorrow is going to be an eventful day for me. It's going to be go, go, go. No breaks. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog because I enjoyed making it. I'm gonna spend the rest of my time just relaxing and packing and just chill, soak up my view right now and enjoy the moment. That being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this vlog. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up because that would mean so much to me. And all my social medias are linked down below if you want to look at some pictures that I took here. And I will hopefully see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye. Oh, 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 oh,